In this video, we are going to understand how to unzip files in Stata. So I have a zip file that I would like Stata to unzip. So now there are different types of compression softwares. For example, we have WinRAR that is uh, vastly used. Then we have the built-in uh, compression software with Windows, which also compresses a file. Then we have 7-zip, a, a software by the name of 7-zip. So whenever the default program of Windows would compress a file, it would save the file with a .zip extension. And you can find the extension by, by going to the properties of a file. You can notice that the extension is .zip. So let's first extract this zip file. So we first need to change our current directory. The zip file that I am going to extract is in the zip folder within zip files stata e folder. This is the path of the directory. So I am changing my current directory to, to this specific directory. So now my current directory is set. I am going to unzip the file 1. The file that I am going to unzip, its name is file 1. I just click on, I just write the unzip command or unzip file command and then the file name within the inverted commas. You would notice that this command would generate some result. First, it would inform us that these files are unzipped. Then it would tell us that the processed files were three. It didn't skip any file and the extracted files were three. So the total files were three and it successfully extracted the three files. Moving to the folder, you can see that the file was extracted and we have all the three files with us. Now coming back to our second issue, if we again wanted to unzip this file, and we wanted to replace the previously stored files, then we would just add the replace option. So we write the unzip file command, then the file name, comma, replace option, and this would simply replace the previous files. It would again generate the result that was similar to the one that we saw earlier. So what if we didn't use the replace command? What result would it generate? Let's try it. And now you would see in the results window that there were total process file with three. It skipped those files because there were already files with the same name stored in that specific folders. And it gave us the result that cannot override the file. So that's why the stata skipped those files. So now you understand that you need to use the replace option. Now moving on to the second issue, most of us uses a WinRAR software. It is a free software that we download and we use it. Might be because of its good compression quality. Now, if you are using the WinRAR software, you would notice that the file would save with an extension of RAR. So the file that is generated by WinRAR software would have a .RAR extension. And the issue with unzip command is that it won't accept this RAR. So we have to use a way around. First, we need to again set the working directory. In this case, instead of the zip folder, our working directory is the RAR folder where our WinRAR file is stored. Now shell command is used to send a command to our operating system. We can open an application, perform certain tasks in that application. So for that we use the shell command and in this case we are going to use the shell command to open the WinRAR software that is within our program files in the C drive. It is installed there and we are going to use it to extract this file 2.rar which is in this RAR folder. So let's run this command and you would notice the file had been extracted. Now 
आर ए आर और डॉट जिप आर नॉट जस्ट दी विंड्रार सॉफ्टवेयर देर आर अदर जिप फाइल फॉर्मेट्स एंड फॉर दोज वी जस्ट नीड टू हैव द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ दैट फाइल फॉर्मेट सो जस्ट इन केस इफ ए फाइल वॉज जिप्ड एंड इट्स एक्सटेंशन वॉज डॉट जेड सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस फोल्डर इन अदर्स फोल्डर वी हैव ए फाइल थ्री हुज एक्सटेंशन इज नॉट डॉट आर ए आर नॉर इट इज डॉट जिप इट इज जस्ट डॉट जी सो वी अगेन यूज द अनजिप फाइल कमांड बट द डिफॉल्ट एक्सटेंशन दैट इज एज्यूम बाय द अनजिप फाइल कमांड इज डॉट जिप सो वी ओवर आइड दैट सेटिंग बाय गिविंग द स्पेसिफिक एक्सटेंशन सो वी गेव द फाइल नेम डॉट जी so this dot z was the extension and in if in your case the extension was different than this one it wasn't dot z then you would give that specific extension and lastly we have a folder where we have multiple files in this case i just have two files they both are dot zip files so we know that we are going to use the default command of unzip file so we want to extract both these files but in my case there are just two files in your case there might be hundreds of files so we want a command that could execute in a loop so what we have is first we set the source directory we set a local variable the variable name is source directory and we give the path of the files so in my case the files are within multiple files folder then i change the working directory to the source directory variable and we know that this variable would store this path so let me run these two commands and now the change directory had been performed the local variable source directory had been created now we want to perform a loop in this case we are going to perform for each loop so we ask stata to take all the files from the source directory folder with a zip extension so the file name can be anything and we are using the wild card here and then we want to use the for each loop where stata would take each file from that source directory folder and unzip that file it would keep on running this for each loop till all the files in that folder are unzipped so this is a small program that you can use to unzip file let me run this whole program and you would notice that these two files had been unzipped please click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon you will get a notification as soon as we upload a new video Also leave a comment in the comment box below for a recommendation or any suggestions that you would like to give